What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and as you can see, we've got some iPhone 11s. Now we've got all three models here and these are the green models in particular. And this is fine with me until, you know, Apple comes out with some teal options. I'm waiting on it. Uh, but we are gonna go over everything that you get inside of the boxes and see what's different. Now I feel like we gotta start off with the iPhone 11 since this is the entry level iPhone and it's got the most affordable price tag being at just 700 bucks. I think this is gonna fly off the shelves, especially since it's even cheaper than the iPhone 10R. Now the box isn't anything too special. You of course see the green color and you've got the green writing on the sides and whatnot. But popping it open, whoo, that baby looks clean. So what's interesting is that this is called green, but it's got more of like a mint look to it. So I definitely think this has like a more mintish vibe than an overall green. But let's go over what, what else you get in the box. Now, this is an iPhone. Apple keeps it pretty minimal. So of course, you've got paperwork, stickers, and a SIM ejector tool over here. And you, of course, get your five watt charger and you get your ear pods and you, of course, get your standard lightning cable. So really nothing too crazy to see here. This is a very familiar unboxing experience. So let's really quickly talk about what's different with the iPhone 11. But of course, we got to take off that nice plastic. Let's get that nice clean sound. Ooh, love it. And wow, guys, this green looks really, really good. Ari, honestly, take a closer look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, I like it. It's really pretty. Like a mint, what you say? That, that's, that's exactly what I said. Is that? <laughs> shows, how shows how much she's listening over here. Now, if you're wondering how different the 11 is from the 10R, well, you still got a lot of the same going on with the aluminum body, as well as that liquid retina display, the glass back for wireless charging. But in the back, you'll notice we now have dual camera lenses. So the iPhone XR only had a single one, but with this phone, you'll have access to an ultra wide camera lens as well as multiple colors. This is the green version, but Apple came out with a few different options from green to white, product red, yellow, black, and purple. Now the 11 is still rocking that lightning cable. So if you are hoping for USB type C, Sorry to crush your dreams. Now, when it comes to the pros, I'm gonna go for this 11 Pro Max. This is what's going to be my daily driver and I am super excited for this. Now, you'd be surprised. Check this baby out. This is the Midnight Green. Do you think this would be more green? But it's actually really close to space gray. It's got like that green tint to it. And this is what made me feel comfortable with making the shift. It's not a harsh green or anything like that. It looks really, really clean. And with the new Pros, you'll notice that it has a glass back, but it's got this different texture to it. It's a textured back, so it's got like a more matte finish to it. But on the sides, you still have that beautiful stainless steel. And man, Look at that, guys. That is a clean look. But now let's put this right here for a second. See what else we get in the box. You, of course, get more paperwork. You get your ear pods. You know about those already. We put this to the side. But here is where Apple is listening, y'all. It's about time. <laughs> but we finally have an 18 watt charger. So this is gonna give access to fast charging. No more of that five watt stuff. You finally get access to fast charging with the included charger. So basically this means you're gonna be able to get 50% juice in 30 minutes. And you also get this USB-C to lightning cable. Very, very good on Apple to finally include this. So now you don't have to go and buy your own fast charger and add on to the cost of the phone. You got it included in the box. And the unboxing experience for the iPhone 11 Pro is exactly the same. You get your phone, which is a nice size. I like the feel of this. Um, but you also get all of the same things that you got with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that includes the 18 watt charger. Ooh. And boom, here they are, the iPhone 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. They look awesome. They definitely feel really, really premium. And uh, I gotta say, Apple did a good job with this whole design change in the back. I personally like the way the triple cameras look. I know I'm in the minority here. A lot of people dislike it, but listen, fidget spinner or not, I think it looks dope. 
Now, just looking at this camera above me, I can see a difference between these three screens. The iPhone 11 uses what Apple calls a liquid retina display, while the Pros use a super retina XDR display. This is like their Pro display, can get really bright, can do support HDR and all that. So this is a key difference between the two. You've got basically an LCD display versus OLED displays. And while it's not gonna make a huge difference overall, it is definitely something to note. And since this does come with iOS 13, something that's different with the setup process here is being able to choose whether or not you want dark mode. So you can pick here, and this is nice because I know a lot of people like dark mode. I don't really care for it that much, but we're gonna just do it just to switch it up. All right, so I went ahead and finished setting everything up on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I gotta say, during that setup process, I kinda noticed some things with the bodies. So like I said before, this has that matte textured finish. And I thought that this would probably add more grip in the hand, but I found that it's a bit slipperier than the glass. So in the hand, the glass is a, has a bit more friction to it, but when it comes to a surface, I found that the glass moves around just a bit more than the mat. So depending on the surface it's on, one is more slippery than the other. But honestly, if you're not wearing a case anyway, I think you're crazy. And I'm feeling very much at home with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but for those of you out there who don't know what the experience is gonna be like, what Apple really has to offer with these new iPhones compared to those in the past, I'll have a video link down below in the description where I compared and talked about all the new features of the 11 and the Pro models. But guys, I will say, I am pumped to try this out. And I feel like the only thing we haven't really touched on is pricing and availability. The iPhone 11 comes in at $700, as I mentioned before. And with the iPhone 11 Pro, this is going to be $999, so a thousand bucks. And with the Pro Max, you're gonna pay another $100 and get it at 1,100 bucks. So that's your price point. Like I said, I think this one's gonna be the most popular coming in at 700 bucks. But let me know what you guys think. Which phone are you gonna be going for if you're going to be making the upgrade? I'll have new videos on all of these phones coming all week, so stay tuned for those. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.